Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. How many baskets were left after Jesus fed the 5,000 people? 5 10 12 7 The answer is 12 Matthew chapter 14, verse 20 they all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. Question 2. What was the name of the Jerusalem high priest who tried Jesus? Herod, Annas, Gamaliel, Caiaphas. The answer is Caiaphas. Matthew chapter 26, verses 57 to 68. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. But Peter followed him at a distance, right up to the courtyard of the high priest. He entered and sat down with the guards to see the outcome. Question 3. According to the Gospel of Matthew, where did Jesus' first public sermon happen? Mountaintop Capernaum Synagogue Temple The answer is Mountaintop Matthew chapters 5 to 7 now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. Question 4. Who were the first apostles called to follow Jesus? James and John Peter and Andrew Matthew and Thomas Philip and Bartholomew The answer is Peter and Andrew. Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 20. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Question 5. Which tribe did Paul come from? Judah Levi Benjamin Tarsus The answer is Benjamin Philippians chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 The apostle Paul also known as Saul of Tarsus, identified himself as being from the tribe of Benjamin. In his letter to the Philippians, Paul mentions his heritage, circumcised on the eighth day, of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee. Question 6. How many souls were saved in Noah's Ark? 7 10 12 8 The answer is 8 Genesis chapter 7 verses 13 to 16 
On the very same day, Noah and his sons, Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them entered the ark. So, the total number of people who entered Noah's ark was eight. Question 7. Which celestial bodies did Joshua command to stand still? Sun and moon. Wind and rain. Jordan River. Israelites. The answer is Sun and Moon. Joshua chapter 10, verses 12 to 13. On the day the Lord gave the Amorites over to Israel, Joshua said to the Lord in the presence of Israel, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and you, Moon, over the valley of Aijalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, till the nation avenged itself on its enemies, as it is written in the book of Jashar. Question 8. Who let the Israelites return to their homeland? Pharaoh Cyrus the Great Nebuchadnezzar Darius the Mede The answer is Cyrus the Great. Ezra, chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. Any of his people among you may go up to Jerusalem in Judah and build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel, the God who is in Jerusalem, and may their God be with them. Question 9. How many plagues are there in Exodus? 12. 7. 10. 15. The answer is 10. Exodus, chapters 7 to 11. In the book of Exodus, there are ten plagues that are inflicted upon Egypt. These plagues are part of the narrative describing the events leading to the liberation of the Israelites from slavery under Pharaoh's rule. Question 10. What is the longest chapter in the Bible? Genesis Proverbs Isaiah Psalms. The answer is Psalms. Psalms, chapter 119. The longest chapter in the Bible is Psalm 119. Psalm 119 is an acrostic poem, meaning that each section begins with a successive letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It consists of 176 verses, making it the longest chapter in the book of Psalms and the entire Bible. Question 11. Who is the first murderer in the Bible? Cain. Abel. Seth. Lamech. The answer is Cain. Genesis chapter 4, verses 8 to 10. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? Question 12. Which place is called Zion and City of David? Bethlehem Jerusalem Hebron Nazareth The answer is 
Jerusalem. 2 Samuel, chapter 5, verse 6 to 7. The king and his men marched to Jerusalem to attack the Jebusites who lived there. The Jebusites said to David, You will not get in here. Even the blind and the lame can ward you off. They thought, David cannot get in here. Nevertheless, David captured the fortress of Zion, which is the city of David. Question 13. Who replaced Judas Iscariot as an apostle? Silas Barnabas Matthias Timothy The answer is Matthias Acts chapter 1 verses 23 to 26 So they nominated two men Joseph called Barsabbas and Matthias then they prayed Show us which of these two you have chosen to take over this apostolic ministry which Judas left to go where he belongs Then they cast lots and the lot fell to Matthias so he was added to the eleven apostles. Question 14. Which Jewish judicial body tried Jesus following his arrest? Pharisees Sanhedrin Sadducees Zealots The answer is Sanhedrin. Matthew chapter 26, verses 3 to 4. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. Question 15. On which mountain did Moses receive the Ten Commandments? Mount Carmel, Mount Nebo, Mount Sinai, Mount Moriah. The answer is Mount Sinai. Exodus, chapter 19, verse 20. The Lord descended to the top of Mount Sinai and called Moses to the top of the mountain. So Moses went up, and the Lord said to him, Go down and warn the people so they do not force their way through to see the Lord, and many of them perish. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.